Hi, sweetie. Hi, Tubbies. How are you? Hey, piggy people. So today's video, I just wanted to give you a little update with how things are going. I know the videos lately have been pretty heavy, so I'll try to keep this upbeat, which I think I'll be able to. Um, things have been going okay. I feel alright, and all the piggies seem to be doing well. I miss Apple very much, but I do feel I have been able to handle her loss a bit better than some of the others. I think only because I've spent the last eight months watching her have discomfort on and off, and I've had the last three months to kind of, like, kind of come to terms with the fact that she was terminally ill, so all those things combined, I feel at peace for her knowing that she was having such a hard time. The herd has been totally fine, minus Pecan. Pecan had one day, like a full 24 hours of grieving very hard for Apple. So the rest of the herd, I couldn't say I noticed any difference. And I know people are probably going to wonder what about Huckle, since Apple and Huckle were a pair before they joined the herd. I really can't say I noticed any difference with him. He's really social and outgoing, where Apple was more introverted. She was more of a people pig, kind of like Pecan, where she really craves attention from people, and in the pig cage is pretty independent. But of course, um, Pecan was pretty attached to Apple, because as I mentioned before, I just hit the footstool, guys. It's all right. As I mentioned before, they had been hanging out for probably a month, one-on-one -on -one at night, and had gotten to know each other very well, and were both very quiet pigs, so they got along great. So Pecan the first day, she seemed fine, but it seemed to hit her hard the next day. I think she just finally realized that Apple wasn't coming home. She was very withdrawn. She didn't want to eat her Sherwood recovery food that she loves. When I opened up the pen in the morning to let her out with the rest of the guys, she did not care to come out to explore, which is very weird for her. She didn't want to look at me, which is really weird, because as you guys can see, she's always looking at me, always paying attention to me. She didn't care if I touched her, and sometimes when I would get to touch her, she wouldn't lay down, she would just walk away, and Pecan loves you to pet her and purrs and stretches out. So it was very weird and it kind of made me sad and worried about is she okay? But she came around. She did grieve for Littlefoot as well, which was kind of the same way of just kind of being withdrawn and keeping to herself even more. But luckily she's back to being out and active and paying attention to me and all of that good stuff. So as far as things go for the herd, I'm glad that everybody's good and that there's no squabbles or anything with the hierarchy changing. So Apple would have been the third pig down, so it's Huckle, Pecan, Apple. So Apple was kind of a boss above Reese, Raisin, and Velvet. But I haven't noticed any shift in anything, so that's good. So the next thing that we have to worry about is Raisin goes to the vet for her spay. So thankfully, while we're waiting for our, our appointment, she hasn't had any more episodes of bleeding, which makes it easier to wait, because if she started to bleed again, then I just would feel quite panicked. So that's good. Uh, she's in really good health and condition to go through the surgery, which is great. I'm still going to be like an absolute mess when she has to go because waiting to hear that your pig has made it through surgery feels like it takes an eternity to hear back. Like every minute feels like an hour. So I'll be so thankful when I hear she makes it through surgery well and when I get her home and eating and we'll get through her recovery. And then hopefully we'll be able to just breathe and relax for a little while. So all the other piggies uh, seem to be doing well. Which is always nice. So thanks um, everybody again for 
all your lovely comments that you've been making during this difficult time. And I know a lot of people were saying how upset they were about not seeing Apple. And it's definitely is weird not seeing that sweet little face because it used to get to pay so much attention to her because she just loved it. But what can you do, right? It's so nice to have all these piggies. Just love them to bits. So you just have to remember all the good stuff. And I think Apple had a very good life. I really hope she thinks it was great. And I like to look back at old videos or pictures just to remind myself that she loved to relax. She loved to play. She loved to get attention. Hey, Hucky. Why are you running away? Hey. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Can you say hi to the people? And you're so pretty. Yes, you are. Hey, Ray. You creeping up? <laughs> hi. How are you? There's somebody coming over. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby Ray. Sometimes I just don't believe that Raisin's going to be four. I always think of her as the little baby. Alright guys, so I'll try to make a different type of video for the next time. Maybe like a morning routine or something. Anyway, thanks for sticking through things with me. Bye guys. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!